and an egg bottom. Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. People, people, wa go on, wa go on. Right now, I just hope everybody is doing good. On the notes from forward, I come with the latest updates. But before we get to that, I just want to take the time out to bless up everybody upon the Friday. Yeah, man, we are thank God, so we'll live for see you next Friday. The Prime Minister went ahead yesterday and gave we our extra on our curfew. So we now have a 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew. What a good way to start off the weekend. People who live on the best life but do it very responsible. Members of the streets at so be very careful out there. So I could get down and some will come for discuss now. The St. Andrew South Police have detained a suspect in the double murder that occurred in Seaview Garden, St. Andrew last week. The suspect was reportedly picked up early this week during a police operation in the division. The suspect is being held for the death of 33-year-old Raymond Brown, otherwise called Pussman, of Winster Heights in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, and 30-year-old Leon Morgan, otherwise called Lee, of Kingston 10. Police investigations say the men were killed because of an ongoing gang war in the communities. The investigations say the men were cooling out in Seaview Gardens but were found by men with whom they were in conflict with from another area. Reports were that about 9.35 p.m., residents heard loud explosion coming from a section of the community and alerted the police. On their arrival, Brown was seen suffering from gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Sometime later, Morgan was found suffering from a bullet wound in the community and was assisted to the hospital where he died. Yes, you want to mind telling us to say, when you're ready for take up badness, ensure so you're ready for real because once you're going out, there is no way of coming out. So these men do what they do in a them community and them left them community for come chill out in a Seaview Gardens, thinking that was a great escape. Little did they know what they were running into. A schoolgirl who was seen on a video stabbing another student during a fight at the Mashat High School in Trelawney has been charged by the police. Head of the Chilani Police, Superintendent Carlos Russell, told our news team online that the teen is being charged with wounding with intent. She was given bail in the custody of her parents and is to appear in the family court on February 17, Superintendent Russell said. Following the incident which occurred on Monday, the two girls have been suspended from the school for 10 days. The injured girl was stabbed in the face and the harm during the fight. It is not known what caused the fight, but one footage showed the two girls throwing punches and kicks. Some students looked on excitingly, cursing indecent language and cheering, while others tried to part the fight. When I got the video of this incident, I was in shock for a second. I was like, at this school really gone to? It's like nobody na know them boundaries anymore. And neither do they know how to control their temper. You mean for tell me say whatever it was, uno couldn't sort it out no other way. Uno couldn't even just curse and call it a day and just walk away. Uno couldn't even just do normal fighting as kids normally do and just call it a day. Why at the end of this, it did have to get a serious phone stop. Must say a lot of people on the scene are trying to party it. People as I say, must say the video long time from it just happened but i was just waiting to understand what exactly took place obviously we still don't know the reason behind this and you know when we can't hear the reason how it go so more than likely it seems as if as uh, some foolishness them a fight over maybe hear say or over tell if i don't want to look at school boy them them a fight over I must say and hear about things like this way too often but what i'm saying it never did have to get so serious one could have just simply walk away. One don't look at talking, talking as kids normally would do. We not going to lie. We not going to go on like one jump from reality. And say they picking them more of them little disagreements, them little altercation. But as I say, it never did have to get so serious. But most of the kids want to touch high school at them the time they want to mad on parents. Get them be talking because they feel as if. We reach high school now, so we reach the age in life to do whatever we feel like say we're supposed to do. 
I don't go on the parents one bag of unnecessary problems. Till you go to school and misbehave. And all of them unnecessary things. But really and truly, we well, have to blame some of the parents them feet because they never brought the tree from it young. They make gonna continue the look of foolishness them and them cover it up for no and them just play it off and make it slide until you get worse, them can't even control you no more. Viewers and subscribers, the video is available. Once you're interested in seeing the unedited version, just go down below in the description of this video. Click the link, you join our Telegram group, you head straight to the group, you just stroll and you find the video. If you don't know how to go down in the description and you're interested in seeing the video, no problem. Just run on over to our Instagram page at Chop City TV. That is C H O P C I T Y underscore TV. Send us a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. It has been reported that a man who goes by the name of Christopher or Flavor Chris, who was recently missing, was found dead today in Falmo Trelawney. His cause of death. And the reason for his attack is currently unclear at this time. The runaway police in St. Anne are probing the circumstances surrounding the suspected drowning of a man at Flavors Beach in the parish on Thursday. He has been identified as a 25-year-old Orlando Taylor. His address is not yet been ascertained. Taylor's body was reportedly seen floating in the water with his face down at about 8.30 a.m. Residents on the beach raised an alarm and the body was later retrieved from the water. The body was removed from the water and taken to the morgue pending a post-mortem examination. A young man known as Shaquin was shot and killed in Triangle River St. James on Wednesday night. It was reported that police officers managed to apprehend the gunmen a few minutes later after the incident. They were identified as his own friends. When you hear popcorn say with friends like these who need enemy, nobody feel like a joke thing. You see a friend them, they more dangerous than your enemy themselves. My granny always say, and I ever smile a smile. When we smile in your face and behind you, they might tear down, they might plan how they get rid of you. And this is exactly what happened to this young man. No, I just want to take the time over to send my condolences to his family because this is real sad. It really messed up when your own friends them come after you, me I tell you. But viewers and subscribers, I don't go up on a learn a lesson from this. For the young people that are watching this video, from the ear and appearance, I complain about on a friend, just listen. 85% of the time, your parents them right. Best believe. You can't even trust your shadow, much more for you trust your friend. I'm not going to tell you a lie. You will buck up on some genuine people in a life, but them really hard to find. So watch your friend them closer than how you watch your enemies. Viewers and subscribers, a phone time now. I would love to hear what are your thoughts and all these stories down below in the comment section. Remember, everybody opinion valid. So I'm not afraid to leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out to stay blessed and stay safe.